scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are praying, but the Lord just showed me two people. There are two people here. There is a call of God upon your life, but there are certain graces you have been seeking. You have been seeking these graces i know that there's there's um what they call it social distance so even if you bring people under the anointing just let's try to respect it but i don't want to waste the remaining time there are two people here as i was just singing that song the lord just opened my eyes and i saw that there were people who must drink of this grace listen it's a grace that will drive you to prayer it's a grace that will drive you to study bring them out Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. He's bringing them out by himself. This is a dimension of signs and wonders. It happens by the Spirit of God. Casting crown, lifting hands, bowing down, it's what I've come to do. Casting crown, bring them out. Lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's all we come to do. Hallelujah. Please bring them out. There is a reason. You invited me here this is a ministry of signs and wonders is so that the Lord himself will shift you to very strange dimensions there are four ladies the spirit of prophecy this is what I am seeing for one of you, it was on your mother. Please bring them out. Well, help them, whether you are an usher or not. Please help them. You don't have to be an usher. Bring them out. That grace that was on your mother is coming on you. Bring them out. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. Looked around and suddenly realized That you've been so good to me ah. Your mercy is everlasting Undenying Listen I join my faith with the prophet of God and I declare here at this conference I shift you to new levels all of you in front here step into new levels and for everyone following and watching here in the main auditorium and at the overflows be shifted to new dimensions in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the power of God is on a lady now I'm seeing. Bring her. She's wearing green. Green. Complete green. She's at this side.
bring that lady the lord is revealing to me a lady wearing complete green who is that with a nose mask is there someone like that who is olamide olamide i'm hearing a name olamide is there someone like that olamide i'm hearing that name olamide please be patient we have to pray olamide this is the name that god is giving to me my dear look at me where are you coming from Huh? from lady love from where I want to pray for you because your life is about to change are you a member of this church my goodness you will never forget this encounter I stretch my hands may grace come upon your life and shift you to a strange dimension in the realm of the spirit receive that grace and step into that dimension of possibility in the name of Jesus Christ who is Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan there's someone I don't know if it's your name or your son name Jonathan please when you have that person I want to talk to that person right now and then I'm hearing a name Bolu who is Bolu I'm hearing a name Bolu is there someone like that that should be female am I right please who is that I want to speak to you what's your name Huh? Your, son -in -law is Jonathan. your son name is Jonathan where are you from Undo states. Undo states. can I pray for you ma please don't come out at random eh? make sure we know why so that we don't mess up this place why are they here your mother who is Bolu oh Bolu is both male and female okay no this is it's none of these people but I'm, I'm, I will still pray for you but the person I'm seeing someone in the overflow the power of God is coming on that person the overflow please carry the person and bring the person here there is a prophetic word the overflow the, that's the one in, uh, I think that overflow a strong anointing is coming on that person please quickly bring the person we'll work with time madam I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm speaking to you that in the name of jesus every reproach of darkness help the person who will run out now by the spirit of god an anointing will come on him he will literally be running please hold him whether you are an usher or not please this is happening by the spirit there is a prophecy for that person from the congregation the power of god will come on that person right now please bring the person help the person please hallelujah please help help yes i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ I declare an end comes to your captivity once and for all this is a solution arena and I stand and agree with the grace upon his choice servant that this comes to an end right now in the name of Jesus what's your name come where are you coming from the overflow. the overflow I want to pray for you what do you do my dear I just finished the country school I just finished secondary school. Secondary school. Yes. Let me pray for you. The grace that is on Esther is on you. You're going to become a lady connected to royalty. And I pray. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Let that oppression go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth in one minute. Everything that must live your life please open your mouth where church of prayer lift your voice and begin to make decrees in the name of Jesus under this unction and under this grace in the name of Jesus every planting that is not by God is someone praying every planting that is not by God let it be uprooted right now overflow pray those following online pray
Shela baratos ke baradoshiata. Hallelujah. I need to pray for you because I'm praying for another set of people now. For all of you who are here, I decree and declare. Look at me, madam. Just lift your hands. I rebuke death from your family. Now, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of death be lifted from this family. In the name of Jesus, there is please you, you can go back you can go back to your your seat eh? as many of you hold on please there's someone who is going to shout under the anointing i want you to bring that it's a loud shout to the hearing of everybody and there is a reason i want to pray on that person the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of death over families over families as many of them who can go just those who cannot go just just leave them just leave them Madam, come. It's time for your life to change. What's your name, madam? Who is Ty? I don't give her the mic. Who is Tayo? I'm seeing Tayo written on your head. What's your name? Omo Tayo. I, 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 do I know you? Yes, Tayo. That's what I'm seeing. On, that's your name. Where you? You're a member of this church. Very well. Wow. There is a door that I'm seeing opening up for you and your family. It's a very strange season of honor. Hear what I'm telling you, madam. I stand by the God of heaven to tell you by this time next year, your entire family, everything that has to do with you, you would have been lifted to a dimension of grace. I stretch my hands, receive that grace. Take that fire right now. In the name of Jesus, open doors. Open doors beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone's brother who wants to contest for chairmanship. Who is that person? I'm seeing like a like I don't know if there's any maybe local government election or something like that. And there's someone related to a gentleman. Please, if you have that person very quickly, we have to we have to pray and wrap up. my dear lift your hands where you are this fair lady you lift your hands i'm seeing oil coming on you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus i roll away reproach from your life by the you don't have to bring her out by the spirit of grace i declare it comes to an end now it comes to an end now you're the one contesting sir your brother where is he in the name of Jesus Christ we agree ah can I talk to you tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers I'm not a prophet of doom please make sure why is he here your brother too but tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers I'm seeing someone among his friends making an arrangement so that they will kidnap him and they are demanding for a huge ransom tell him to pray god reveals like this to help us i, I hope you understand it's not to scare us sir can i prophesy to you i know that you came here to collect an award but it's more than an award i'm seeing three four months your season is changing even in your place of work this is what I'm seeing by the Spirit of God. I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the Spirit. And every time I see people climb a ladder in the realm of the Spirit, it signifies that a new season is opening up for you. In the name of Jesus here at Holy Ghost Christian Center, we stand in faith and we agree. The Lord brought you not only to collect an award, but in the name of Jesus for this season to change. It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, it were preserved. Sir, I decree and declare over you by the spirit of grace. I stretch my hands to you and I declare according to the word of the Lord. May the Lord surprise you. He will surprise you in an extraordinary way. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you sir I pray for you the Lord is showing you mercy the Lord is showing you help in the name of Jesus now I want to pray am I wasting your time I'm going to pray for you there are people here under the yokes of darkness listen the Bible says for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy that everything sitting on your destiny that should not be there God is about to clear it away are you ready now I'm about to pray and the power of God is coming on people God is delivering people right now please I want you to bring them out at the count of three you will call that name Jesus I'm seeing altars on fire I want you to bring them here and then begin to pray father I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice help them please who is under any yoke of oppression under any cause under any manifestation of darkness at the count of three as you shout Jesus may fire come from heaven and bring you deliverance help them whether you are an usher or not please once someone is close to you it's your responsibility are you ready to shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus I command those altars be gone now be gone now be gone now bring them out be gone now every planting every yoke of darkness fashioned against you fashioned against your family hear the word of the Lord I come by the word of prophecy be delivered now bring them out be delivered now we are still praying be delivered now be delivered now please look at me I'm seeing a big padlock in the realm of the spirit and the Lord is telling me destinies have been locked but they are about to be opened I'm seeing the number 12 the fire of God is coming on them bring them out in the name of Jesus every destiny that has been locked every destiny that has refused to find visibility right now in the name of jesus christ that destiny be open now be open now bring them out be open now open your mouth begin to pray open your mouth begin to pray in the name of Jesus it's a new season for me are you praying are you praying are you praying I'm still praying. Hallelujah. Listen. Olatunji. Olatunji. I believe there should be a name like that. Whose name is that? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that with that name? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. And that name belongs to you. There is a miracle that God wants to release for that person right now or Latunji I don't know if you're following online or you're inside or in the overflow but the Lord is asking me to prophesy to Ola Tunji that a season is about to change for you a supernatural season is about to change for you a supernatural season is about to change tap this gentleman for me please we have to hurry up just tap him my friend look at me stand up where are you coming from? Huh? Lagos. What's your name? Chigozi. This is help him. I'm seeing a strong altar. You see someone who comes like this? This is a fine young man. But what I'm seeing, because I'm seeing skulls, and I'm seeing them say, this gentleman will never rise. And even his family will never rise. But we stand here at the solution arena. I stretch my hands. The spirit that is back of the captivity, of your life and your family I command it out now 
in the name of Jesus I use him as a point of contact to speak that if there is any altar that is saying you will not rise here at the solution arena in the name that is above all names receive your freedom now hallelujah you were about to leave your house this morning and the lord asked you to carry photos is it of your family or your loved ones who is that person come with it i want to pray for you so we'll round up i'm seeing who is that is there someone like that let's verify first okay come for there is a god that reveals secrets who is this okay yes, this is my daughter my first child Olamide, he mentioned Olamide the other time sir this is my my picture this is my son can i pray for you madam mama please come this way the lord is about to bring laughter to your family i'm seeing a woman here three years you are yet to conceive now I know there are people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb but I'm seeing a particular person three years right now because of the peculiarity of your situation God wants to visit you who is that person please come it's your time to receive right now according to the time of life my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory he will put his angels charge of me. Jehovah Jireh is for me. Hallelujah. Please stand up, madam. Oh dear. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus. The destroyer will not come near your family. Madam, is this your son? What is his name? This is uh, South Africa, sir. Just, I'm asking you, yes, what's sir. his name? I separate him from any company that wants to destroy his life. Hear what you understand what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus, there is no trouble that this gentleman will have with government on account of wrong company. In the name of Jesus, may my God preserve him and preserve your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Mama, I want to pray for you. I know we may not have the time to pray, but. God has spoken. I want to just pray whatever it is that is connected to these photos. I want you to believe by faith that the hand of God is coming on your life. Madam, why are you here? Huh? Where is the pain you feel at the lower part of your stomach? Huh? Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. How long has it been? It has been like three years. Like three years. Is one of the reasons why there is a problem but God is going to do a miracle for you because as I stood here the Lord is telling me that you've been going through there is, is a medical condition that is leading to that pain it's not just an ordinary pain but I have to pray for you but this is not the person I'm seeing no even though I'm going to pray for you the person I'm seeing is not this mama in the name of Jesus for the photos that you are holding I pray and agree with you here at the solution arena divine visitation supernatural visitation help this woman ah, who am I seeing on a sick bed I'm seeing someone's loved one I don't know if it's their mother or something and I have to pray because this looks like cancer this situation you are a gentleman you are wearing like brown this is what I'm seeing in my vision you're a tall slender gentleman who is that where is your mother she's in Oko State huh? Oko State you say it now my mom is in Oko State what's wrong with her it's my uncle is fighting cancer well I will pray with you but this person I'm seeing the person lying down huh Huh? With cancer, yes, Where? my mother in Benway State. I have to pray for you. Ah. This morning, 
this thing is this because in the vision i'm seeing i'm already seeing her inside a coffin we have to pray look at me i bring you the life and the power of this kingdom and in the name of jesus the spirit that raised christ from the dead i declare that that grace rests upon you and your mother right now anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death whether by sickness please believe it oh the times that we live in you need this prophetic cover whether by sickness whether by acts of terrorism whether by acts of the wickedness of men i declare it will not come near your dwelling it will not come near your dwelling in the name of jesus my friend look at me i pray for your uncle in the name of jesus may god take him off from the bed of affliction and preserve him preserve his soul in the name of jesus mama in jesus name back pain is leaving you now i'm seeing an anointing coming on your head back pain huh in the name of jesus how long has it been like pain around your like yeah. two two weeks i will pray for you in the name of jesus it goes right now never to return if you are sick in your body lay your hands there right now i have just maybe about six minutes or so just lay your hands there i'm seeing a book being opened in front of you this lady wearing red that's a book of remembrance that lady listen to me give god your entire attention and take god seriously and watch what he will do in your life this is the prophetic word for you but in this season the book of remembrance please be careful so you don't drag them to injure themselves what is happening to you is also happening to that lady i pray here whoever has been forgotten let me prophesy on you in the name of jesus whatever has made men forget you by the power that raised christ from the dead people you are blessed who have forgotten you people you were there for who have forgotten you between now and the end of march hear me i speak to you by the spirit of grace may the book of remembrance be open be open be open be open be open over your life and over your destiny in the name of jesus christ the lord show you mercy in the name of jesus christ the lord show you mercy let me pray for the sick lay your hands now father i stand upon this anointed ground you don't have to bring them out now in the name of jesus everyone who is sick believe in miracles there are miracles in the name of jesus there are miracles in the name of jesus there are miracles in the name of jesus you break every chain break every chain right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare everyone here who is sick in your body i rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity shout a believing amen and right now i decree and declare from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now blood conditions be healed now genotype issues be healed now hepatitis be healed now fibroids and all kinds of growths around the body be healed now eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every other medical condition in the name of jesus we bring it under judgment and we declare healing by the power of the holy ghost 
in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray and speak over your life I believe in prophecy I truly believe in prophecy father I stand in faith ah. I'm seeing someone give this church a boss a, this is what I'm seeing as I just saw a vision and I saw a boss entering as a seed this is what I'm seeing I'm saying it in the open the word of the Lord if it is from the Lord does not lie I use what I just saw as a point of contact that everything that is yet to come into your life I stand by the spirit of grace and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it appear in your life now everyone here trusting God for employment I stand by the grace of God and I declare by this time next year you return with joy you return employed I pray for every business here hear the word of the Lord is a season of increase for you I place prophecy upon the works of your hands in the name of Jesus experience increase can I pray for your spiritual life listen I have about two minutes left we will not just bless you and pray for things your life and your relationship with God your fire and your fervency no matter what else is right in your life if your spiritual life is in trouble you are in trouble therefore I pray whatever has destroyed your fire altar the grace to fast the grace to pray may that grace come upon you now the grace to study the grace to give yourself into the things of God in the name of Jesus receive that grace I declare that you will walk in signs and wonders in the name of Jesus help them please I pray for every worker under this commission you are a worker under this commission my Bible says a worker is worthy of his wages therefore I decree and declare for every worker under this prophetic grace step into new seasons open doors greater dimensions of lifting in the name of Jesus and I pray finally listen to me for all those who have given all those who have sacrificed resources I was just speaking with the pastor briefly in the office and I said I can only imagine how much you spent the millions and millions of naira that must have gone in to make this thing happen it is not just enough to give there should be a blessing that comes to you for giving therefore I pray for everyone here connected to this assembly sons and daughters of the prophet connected whether in this ministry or not and all those who have participated and are participating I release a blessing upon you open heavens upon your life open heavens upon your family open heavens upon your spiritual life in the name of Jesus I declare that you will have good measure pressed down shaken together and even running over may the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost Christian Center the Lord bless you I love you thank you so much Pastor. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 